Good afternoon one and all welcome to the video in this video I'm gonna be showing you some automations uh, basically uh, that you can do with Python so let's say you have this HTML file right um, let's say uh, often you will you might encounter such kind of situation like you want to display the raw HTML on a website right or on an iframe um, or basically you want to manipulate the data for example what I mean by that I'm just gonna show you right away so if I, if I open this page it's just gonna show you a uh, hello YouTube right now what I'm trying to say is basically uh, let me show you the Python script which will definitely make sense um, so I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna do this uh, so assume uh, that I mean when you're working in big companies there might be often a case that some of them uh, they might be sending HTML data or a header or a footer using basically uh, let's say uh, an REST API right so in that situation what I'm saying is basically so for check this out so this is basically the HTML code uh, here you can see in a list attribute so how you can uh, uh, if you want to display this on an iframe how you can do that I'm gonna show you some um, Python ETL scripts that you can do basically a backend um, rest API you can develop to do these kind of jobs um, what you can do is basically uh, whenever you're getting some kind of data and you want to display it on an iframe uh, any HTML data basically let's let me talk this way so let's say you have any kind of an HTML uh, data a string HTML data and you want to uh, show that on an iframe how you can do that so I'm gonna be teaching you in this video how to do that so first of all what I did is basically I defined a empty string I want to convert the entire HTML into a string so assume that uh, this is how your company is giving you data uh, to your rest API you're getting a string uh, stuff and let's say you want to display that on an iframe so this is basically a string okay uh, I can prove that to you um, actually if I say type and if I say str and if I run that uh, should get an error there um, let me run that again so type string perfect what I want to do is basically I wrote a simple function this would be a rest API basically which will take um, the uh, string HTML uh, I'm using beautiful soup to make sure the HTML is like perfect because sometimes there is always HTML contents uh, when it's coming through an API uh, I mean usually it won't happen but if it's not uh, formatted correctly you can use beautiful soup to do that so what I did is basically I used beautiful soup to create that HTML content then basically oops sorry for that and then basically I converted that into a string and then basically I converted that into a base 64 so I did like a base 64 encoding so what happens is guys let me show you the gist of the ideas so let's say you develop an uh, backend uh, stuff so now what you did is basically you converted your entire HTML code into a base 64 stuff now whenever you want to display that on, on, on your web website what you can do is you can simply put that on an iframe like this way check this out so I have a data template format so iframe source data is equal to text HTML because we're sending text HTML base 64 and where it says xxxx replace that with your um, your base 64 data you can update this field uh, using um, jQuery as well so you can dynamically select iframe and then you can say dot source attribute and you can do that so for example if I paste the uh, raw um, whatever like raw base 64 which was a string HTML I converted that into a uh, base 64 and now using base 64 I'm displaying it on an iframe so let me run that so here you can see uh, the, the black border that you see it's an iframe and then inside that iframe you are rendering your HTML contents so let me show you that so if you see carefully uh, div class uh, style padding hello so yeah so this this is the entire thing this entire thing is inside the body I mean um, it's 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 in, inside an iframe uh, let me see if I can show that a little clearly to you hold on uh, let me change this to two pixel solid red red be a, would be a good color to identify that quickly so I'm gonna run it again so if you see this is a red border uh, it's hard to see but uh, this is a red border and inside that you have your HTML uh, stuff being rendered so this is a cool way we, in which you can do automation um, I, I, I had a similar problem this week I was working uh, uh, on, on such pro problem basically where I had to display the raw HTML on the, on, 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 on the website uh, there was no way I could have do, done that on an iframe I, I wanted to do specifically on an iframe but um, then what I did is basically I used these methods to convert it into a base 64 and then I developed a backend API basically which takes a raw HTML converts into a base 64 and returns me base 64 then using jQuery I transform I mean I select the iframe and update the source attribute 
Okay, uh, what I'll do is basically I'll leave all the three files in the description section below. So make sure to check it out. And if you have any more questions, kindly list your questions in the comments and I would be very happy to assist you. Thank you for watching.